All right, so this last month or so, we've been focusing on beginning the master bedroom suite. Still a long ways to go, but we have a really good start going on. Um, now, when this is done, the, there'll be, I'm going to call it an infinity floor. It'll be a black tile floor. It'll lead right up to the edge of the window, so it looks like it continues onward. Now, up here above the bed is a custom piece. You see all the wires hanging down, and that is going to have what I'm calling my butterfly swarm light, which is going to consist of five LED butterfly lights at different uh, heights and angles. There'll be just an ambient lighting that should be unique. Uh, here we have a custom headboard. Uh, now, only now you can see the legs, but when you're up close to it, you can't see the legs, and there'll be lighting underneath of it. So it'll look like it's kind of floating. And the black tile that's on the floor will also be in the center of the headboard. Now, once the tile is in, and of course it's already painted, then we're going to decide on the color of the rest of the room. Now, because we have plenty of ambient lighting, it'll be a darker color. We, haven't, we just haven't decided which color yet. Uh, a lot of this month has been focused on the walk-in closet. This is Bone Bone. He's our master carpenter. He's also the guy who did our kitchen cabinets. And uh, he's going to show us real quick some of the cool stuff he's done with doors and drawers and things of that nature. So, now, These mirrored cabinets, those pieces of mirror are eight feet tall. Just kind of go circle around the room. Lisa's got all these little knick-knack things and, well, lots of places to put stuff. Thank you, Bone Bone. And so next month we'll be dedicated to doing the tile in the master bathroom and the master bedroom. And we hope to be living in this room in two to three months.